Uh, these got it right. Uh, only two. Who was fastest? Roger Walker in 7.54 seconds. Be positive. Yep. You want me to give you one million pounds to take home? I'd love it. Yeah. I thought you might. Okay. So this is Roger Walker, a printer from Homebury St Mary in Surrey. Up in the audience is his daughter Alex, looking absolutely terrified. Son Rupert is at university and wife Marjorie is back at home with a cold. Uh, but in any case, he says he's glad she's not here because if he gave a wrong answer, she'd come down and attack him. <laughs> he's a scary woman. Roger says he calls the show whenever he feels particularly broke and he's here tonight because he got a really sniffy letter from his bank manager. I like that. They're always sort of mucking about, oh, it's just the experience mm -hmm. and I want a nice day. You're just basically here for some money, aren't you? Yeah. Good man. Yes. Let's yep. not muck about. Yeah. You're here for cash. Yeah. You'd like if you win some money tonight, if you win lots of money, and I hope you do. Um, you'd like to go to New York. Yeah. Why New York particularly? Um, I haven't been to New York. I'd like to walk the streets of Woody Allen's Manhattan and yeah. go to the Met and drive Tony Soprano's drive home. Actually. Oh, the full bit? Mm. That's fantastic. New York to Jersey City. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, certainly, as yeah. we've all seen in the last mm. few months, they have amazing mm. spirit and courage over there as well. OK, well, our fingers crossed tonight. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Question number one is for £100. You have all three lifelines. Here we go. In cookery, which term describes meat that's easy to cut and eat? Passionate. Tender. Caring. Sentiment. Tender. It's the right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> there you are, then. You've got some cash, you can go now. Goodbye. <laughs> Want some more? A bit more. Oh, yes. Yeah. OK, I'll have to ask you the second question, then. Uh, this is for £200. Have a look. Which of these is a show of affection inspired by greedy or selfish motives? Cabinet love. Cupboard love. Couch love. Cushion love. It's cupboard love. You got £200. <laughs> Number three is for 300 Here it comes. Just be aware of those lifelines. You probably won't need them for a while, but they're there if you want them. This is for 300 quid. What name is given to a wooden board consisting of several thin sheets of wood fixed together? Plywood. Rosewood. Balsa wood. Beach wood. It's plywood. You've got £300. <laughs> Question number four, Roger, for £500. Have a look and tell me the right answer. Complete the title of the 1974 comedy western film directed by Mel Brooks, Blazing... Stetsons. Saddles. Saloons. Spurs. Blazing South. It's a great film. You got 500 quid. <laughs> right, you came for some cash. Now you can get some serious cash. This will guarantee you a thousand pounds. It's question number five. You have all three lifelines. This is for a thousand pounds. What name is given to the crude metal formed into oblong blocks that comes from a smelting furnace? Dog iron. Cow iron. Sheep iron. Pig iron. Pig iron. You got a thousand pounds. Well played, Roger. Guaranteed. <laughs> Good night. How are you feeling? You look terrified. I'm still, I just numb. Can't, can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. And you had a haircut specially for the show. Indeed, I did. Well, I was told I should have. Who by? Wished... My daughter wouldn't have come if I had. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, you got a thousand pounds. This is for two thousand pounds. Here we go. Which of these is not one of the Benelux countries? France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands. France, Chris. You sure? Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, as in Benny Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah. I'm not allowed to tell you. You knew the answer anyway. Um, <clears throat> you've got two thousand. You are nine away from a million. This is for four thousand pounds. What nationality is the swimmer Mark Spitz, who was winner of seven gold medals at the 1972 Olympic Games? You know this answer, don't you? What are you going to tell me? American. See what happens. Australian. British. American. Canadian. I'll stick with American, Chris. Not Australian? No. Nope. Final answer. Yep. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> Have a look at question number eight. Now, this is for £8,000. You've got all three lifelines. You are guaranteed a 1000 This is for 8000 In which TV show did Neil Pearson play a policeman named Tony Clark? Between the sheets, between the seasons, between the posts, between the lines... Ring a bell. It, it rings a bell. I haven't seen it. Um, I think I'll ask the audience, Chris. Okay, audience, uh, let's try and get Roger up to eight thousand pounds, please. Here comes the question. Right on your keypads. In which TV show did Neil Pearson play a policeman named Tony Clark? It's worth eight thousand pounds. The first lifeline Roger's needed. A, B, C, or D. All vote now. It's um, very high, very conclusive. 1% mm. the same between the seasons, 9% the same between the sheets, probably because they just want to. Um, between the post, 5%, 85%, uh, same between the lines. Well, I'd, I'll definitely go with the audience. That's what you thought, yeah. truthfully? Yeah. I, well, I'd heard of it. I, I'd, I'd never seen it. But, uh, I had... Final answer? Yep, final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Look at this. You're seven away from a million. This is number nine of a possible 15. Which of these is the name of a Roman palace in West Sussex? Manbourne Palace. Oxbourne Palace. Fishbourne Palace. Catbourne Palace. Now, you look very confident when it came up. <laughs> yeah, I, I you were expecting something else, weren't you? Totally different. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Take your time. One of those is the name of a Roman palace in West Sussex. Manborn Palace, Oxbourne Palace, Fishbourne Palace, Catbourne Palace. Now, one of those is worth sixteen thousand pounds. Well, the only place I've heard is Fishbourne Palace. But I wasn't sure that Fishbourne's in, in West Sussex. I thought I knew West Sussex fairly well. But... but you have heard of Fishbourne Palace? I, well, I've heard of Fishbourne. I haven't. I don't think I've heard of Fishbourne Palace. Um, Roman Palace. I will phone a friend. OK. Yeah. Who are you going to phone? I'll phone... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll phone Sarah. Sarah, okay. Where's she? West Sussex would be handy. You yeah, know, she's uh, she's closer to West Sussex than I am, but uh, she's still in talking in Surrey. Okay. Hello. Sarah. Yes. Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Oh, um, I've got Roger Walker here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, as you can probably gather. Yeah. Uh, he's doing fine, but he's stuck on eight thousand pounds. It does mean Sarah, your answer's quite critical. It's for sixteen thousand. Right. Okay, Sarah. Lots of luck, Roger. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Sarah, which of these is the name of a Roman palace in West Sussex? Manborn Palace, Oxborn Palace, Fishborn Palace, or Catborn Palace? Don't know, Roger. Don't know. Fishborn? Fishborn. It would only be a guess. I really... Does that ring a bell? Fishborn rang a bell with me. Yeah. But I really... It's a guess, I'm afraid. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> OK. We'll go 
OK, computer taking away two wrong answers. Leave Roger the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. Ooh. Fishbourne's still there. I'll uh, have to go for Fishbourne Palace. You don't have to. You've got to that. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have to. I will go for Fishbourne Palace. Final answer. Yes, final answer. How do you think you've done? I don't know. I hope I've, <laughs> hope I've done it. You've done the right thing. You've got £16,000. <laughs> Yeah. Fishbowl Palace. Fishbowl Palace is a Roman palace. Now, you've used up your lifelines, but you're on £16,000, which will be a handsome night's work. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this. You're six away from one million. What was the nickname of the actress Lily Langtree? Guernsey Lily. Alderney Lily. Sark Lily. Jersey Lily. It's Jersey Lily. And you knew that the moment it came up. It was well, me, when I saw Guernsey Lily, then suddenly I had a second thoughts, but I'll stick with Jersey Lily. Final answer? Yeah. You said you came here tonight for some cash, you just won £32,000. <laughs> Clever daddy. Just looking up there. Clever daddy. That'll be some shopping <laughs> sorted. <laughs> right. £32,000. It's good. Take it. It's yours. It's got your name on. Good gracious, yeah. OK. Now how do you feel? Are you still numb? No, the feeling's coming back, actually. Um, well, it will. <laughs> I think it's when you see your own name on the cheque. Yeah, I think that certainly makes... That definitely clarifies incredible. things. Uh, you might as well play number 11. It's worth £64,000. You can double your money on this one. You cannot lose on this. You have no lifelines, but you might as well play this. Take your time. Give me an answer to question number 11 of a possible 15. Pulchritude is a word applied to someone blessed with what? Excessive wealth. Exceptional talent. Physical beauty. Good health. £64,000. It's physical beauty, Chris. Final answer. Yeah. You just won £64,000. <laughs> OK, question number 12 is for £125,000. You're four away from a million. This is question number 12. The face of which of these US presidents is not carved on Mount Rushmore in South Dakota? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, Ulysses S. Grant. It's worth £125,000. I know George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, I'm pretty sure it's... My gut feeling is, is Ulysses S. Grant. But... I'm just trying to picture it. I can see in North, North, by North yeah. West. Yeah. And the glasses on Roosevelt. Yeah. George Washington is definitely there. worth £125,000. You have four answers from a million. You said you came for a bit of cash. This is cash. This is serious cash. And if I lose 30, I, I've got infinitely more than I dreamed I have. Um, I'll go for Ulysses S. Grant. Up to you. You don't have to play this question. It's, it's your call. Final I realise that. Um, yeah, I'll go for you and see this ground. It's the right answer. You just won. <laughs> One hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Thank you.
Fantastic! 64,000 pounds. We don't want to give you that. We want to give you this. Are you still with us? Have we lost you? <laughs> I'm on another planet, really. Now, look at this one. You'll really like this one. I really do like that. Okay. Yeah. You're shaking a bit, Roger. The hand's definitely shaking. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah. 125,000 pounds. The fourth face, actually, is Jefferson. Now, question number 13 is worth a quarter of a million. You do not have to play this question. You've got 32,000 guaranteed. If you give me a wrong answer here, you drop 93,000 pounds. This is number 13 of 15. With which form of painting is James Gilray most closely associated? Landscape, caricature, icon, triptych. Caricature. Uh, sure enough, I just. Um... There's nothing on my screen. You've got one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. That's worth sure, a quarter. Take kind of... Take your time. <laughs> I'm ninety percent sure it's caricature. Landscape with Reynolds, Icon, Triptych. I'm so tempted to go for caricature. I'm going to go for caricature. Roger, you came here for a bit of cash. You I did. Like <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Just won two hundred and fifty. <laughs> Fantastic. Well played, you are so brave. You are so oh, brave, down. Roger. Slightly mad, but brave. <laughs> right. <laughs> Question number fourteen. <laughs> I don't think I can take any more. Right. You had £125,000. Have a look at that one. It's got your name on. <laughs> Still unbelievable. Yeah. Bit of cash, you said. You have no idea how much the bank manager's attitude will change. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, my dear boy, we were just talking about you. There's the red carpet. Come on in. Glass of champers. Question number 14. If you decide to play it, it's worth five hundred thousand pounds. You do not have to play this question. You can walk away with that check for two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. You've got thirty-two thousand pounds guaranteed. Whatever happens, you go home with thirty-two thousand. If you give me a wrong answer at this point, you drop two hundred and eighteen thousand pounds. Is all this singing, Roger? Mm. Nah. Okay, take your time. We'll go through it a step at a time. This is question number fourteen. Of a possible 15, you are two away from one million. What is the currency of Bulgaria? Karuna, Zloty, Krona, Lev. It's the Lev, Chris. <laughs> Roger, you only wanted a bit of cash. <laughs> I know. At this moment, you can pay off the national debt, Roger. I thought the lev before it came up. But if I lose, I'm going to get killed if I, I, if, I, if, I, if I lose that. Take your time. What is the currency of Bulgaria? Karuna, Zloty. Krona, Lev, it's worth £500,000. The Zloty is Poland, and the Krona is Denmark. Karuna I've never heard of, and I'm sure it's the Lev. I will go for Lev. Final answer. Final answer. 
Won 500,000. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Go look around. Do not look at your daughter. Right. How do you feel? Watch that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I have to say, Roger, you have deserved every pound. You've been fantastic. You have deserved every pound tonight. Five hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. That's two or three weeks printing. It would probably have a look. Five hundred thousand pounds. Okay. Feel good? I still am not here. I really <laughs> it's, 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 oh, somebody else. Else you it's somebody else sitting here. It's unbelievable. Right. You know what's gonna happen now, Roger? You are one question away from one million pounds. The whole country loves to do this. We will look at a million pound question. If you go for it and give me the right answer, I would be absolutely delighted to write you out a check for one million pounds cash. If you give me a wrong answer here, you're still guaranteed 32,000 pounds. You lose 468,000 pounds. Okay. This is question number 15 of a possible 15. It's worth a million. Which of these is a butterfly, not a moth? Mother Shipton. Red underwing. Burnished brass. Speckled wood. Chris, I haven't got a clue. I'm so relieved. <laughs> Alex is so relieved. I think the whole country's relieved. Take your time. One of those is worth a million pounds. Burnished. If I was very brave, I'd go for red underwing, but no, I, I, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't do that. No, I'll stick, stick with what I've got. Do you believe you've been here yet? Just about, just about now. I'm, I'm a lot calmer now, yeah. It's been a fantastic night. You've been absolutely brilliant. It's been amazing, absolutely amazing. You've been amazing. Give a big hand. Roger Walker goes away. That's what happens on this show. £500,000 better off. Exactly. I tell you what, you were riding your instincts right through the night. And in fact, if you'd said to me red underwing, I would have taken that check off you, torn it in half, and you would have lost £468,000. <laughs> the right answer actually is speckled wood. Oh, I love the audience. Oh, £500,000. Fantastic.